Hey there, today's tutorial is gonna be all about drawing a cute snake plant on your phone using the Infinite Painter app. We are gonna be using a bunch of cool tools like the Vertical Symmetry tool, Clipping Mask, Alpha Lock and much more. So let's dive in. But first, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. To start, open the app and create a new blank canvas. You can select your device's green resolution from the resolution presets. First, we will draw the pot of the plant. Let me set the background color and I'll provide the color palette in the video. So grab the solid pen brush and select this light red color from the palette and add a new layer. We will use the vertical symmetry tool to draw the pot. First draw an ellipse, then hold and tap on it to edit the shape. You will see two ellipses because the symmetry tool is enabled. On another layer, draw the sides of the pot. Now duplicate the ellipse and move it to the bottom using the transform tool to create the bottom of the pot. Keep the upper ellipse on its separate layer and fill it with a lighter color. Now add a layer under the ellipse and fill it with a darker color. Again duplicate the ellipse and move the upper one. and make it a bit larger. Now we are making the tray of the pot. It is the portion which should be hidden behind the pot. Once that's done, just like we made the pot, first draw the sides. Then duplicate the upper ellipse and move it to the bottom. Add a layer under the rim of the pot to make the soil. Now that the basic shape is done, let's add some texture to it to make it more realistic. First add a clipping mask over the layer you want to add the texture to. The texture I am using here is the scratches texture brush from my realistic texture pack. Link is in the description by the way. Just lightly shade the corners of the pot and choose light color to add some highlights. I think this texture looks really great on this pot. Do the same for the tray also. Some highlights on the rims of the pot and tray will look great. And I also added some bounce light on the darker areas to give it a 3D pop. Now add a layer just above the background for the shadow of the pot. Change its blend mode to multiply. What multiply blend mode does is it makes everything darker under it with respect to the color on it. We will make an ellipse as the shadow.
now we will apply the blur filter to make it look better and reduce the opacity to make it softer. Now it looks good. So now our pot is complete. Pinch on the layers to combine them into a single group. And we will name it pot. We are halfway done now. Let's start making the leaves of our snake plant. Add a new layer and grab the solid pen brush. I think I need it a bit more smoother, so let me increase the smoothness. Now it's look better. We are going to make each leaf like this on its separate layer. We will draw the top layer of the leaves first. I'll speed up the video until all the leaves are drawn. Now we will recolor the leaves to differentiate them and to give them depth. Add a clipping mask on the topmost leaf and draw some wiggly lines like this to give it a pattern like you see on a snake plant. Then add another clipping mask to make a yellow border on the leaves. Similarly, we have to do this to every leaf. So this leaf has a twisted shape. So we have to draw both the dark and light side of it. Now complete all the leaves like this.
add one more clipping mask to the leaves for texture. This is the paper texture again from my realistic texture pack. It will give our leaves a leathery look. Add this texture to the wiggly patterns also by using the envelope. You cannot add a clipping mask to another clipping mask. That's why I'm using the envelope. Now our cute little snake plant is complete. Let me know in the comments if you like it or not and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. More amazing tutorials are coming and I'll see you in the next video.